Okay, guys. It is slightly late-ish in the evening. Far later than I typically uh, play roguelikes. Um, I am a little more tired than my usual self, only because this whole daylight saving is time and changing the clocks around is for the birds. Which is ironic, considering birds don't use clocks. They rely on egg timers, obviously. Um, but... Uh, it's too early to go to bed, and Tanya's playing uh, f something on the Xbox. Um, actually, playing a roguelike for once. <laughs> She's playing. What, what the hell is she playing? I'll think of it. Um, that's how tired I am. I can't remember the name of this very popular roguelike. She's playing it though, um, and I, I can't go to bed yet. So I figured I'd play a roguelike too. So I was going down the list of uh, seven day roguelikes for the 2011 challenge to finish that up. There are still a few outstanding that I have yet to test on my old computer. I am not up to sitting at my old computer tonight. Um, so I was trying to figure out if there's anything left that we have not yet encountered that I can play on this computer. And that meant going through the failed list from 7 Day Roguelike Challenge. Um, sometimes we, we come across games that were not technically 7 Day Roguelike um, victors or, or completionists. They weren't, they weren't finished on time, but they went on to become bigger and better things. This may even be the opposite to that, what we're looking at today. This is a game called Timu. Um, and the reason I'm looking at it today is that it is listed, I think, in the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge of 2011 as a failed roguelike. Um, it is listed as Timu 1.3 failed, but progress was made. Um, this is not Timu version 1.3. This is Timu version 1.21. I stumbled across a lot of stuff about Timu 1.3 on the net, but all of it seems to indicate that was a uh, like a work in progress, and 1.21 was the last put out to the public successfully. Timu is made by a gentleman named Kreis, K-R-I-C-E, like rice with the letter K. Special K is made with rice. There's my non-linear thought for the night. Um, <laughs> literally had nothing to do with anything. That was just a free-form thought. Um, and apparently Kreis's real name is Paul Pekarnin. Um, I've encountered him a few times on some roguelike forums, um, but I've never w played one of his games before, so this will be interesting. It looks promising, right here on the front. Um, there is no rulebook that accompanies it, accompanies it. Pardon me, I'm also slurring my speech due to excess tiredness. You'll also see below the copyright here is 2010, a full year before the 2011 Seven Day Roguelike Challenge. So this is not part of the 7 DRL Challenge, I guess officially, in any way. This was completed long before that, um, so we won't include it in that list. But that is what drew me to Timu at this juncture. Let's view the story. You are Timu, an average student who likes to play games, but not to pay for them. You all, I guess that could be said of me too, because most of the roguelikes we play on this channel are free. You also like Star Wars, but only episodes 4 through 6, because episodes 1 through 3 are total ripoff, and Anakin is annoying. Well, Princess slash Queen Amidala is kind of hot, I guess. I suppose that is true. Um, I didn't really like one, 1 through 3 either, personally. I didn't think they were as good as 4 through 6. I didn't mind the newer ones. Um, but I'm not, a f I'm not a hardcore fan of Star Wars. I think it's pretty fucking cool, but not. it doesn't rule my life like it does some. You just got a copy of D&D Core Rulebook, and man, it's awesome. But it happens that your book was cursed, and it opened a dimensional gateway to somewhere. The gateway was looking just like the Moon Gate in Ultima series, so you were excited and wanted to become the king of Sauceria and get all girls. <laughs> Fuck. Um, you <laughs> okay. You step through the gate and wake up butt naked on a shore of a small island. Here's a pointless bit of etymology in question form for you. Is it butt naked or buck naked? I've always... I've heard it both ways, but and butt naked, I understand the logic behind it, but buck naked is I believe the proper phrase. Not sure. Doesn't matter. You see a pirate ship anchored on shore in some forest at north. You are carrying a golden statue and a bottle of rum. You certainly feel you should pay for your games. Pirates wreck the game industry. Okay. 
We know how he feels about that. Let's go to play with a P. Look at the options here. Let's just check, check this out. Um, we're not going to mess with any of this, but how cool is it that there is the option for options? You don't see that in a lot of roguelikes. Let's press P for play. I don't know anything about this game, except for one thing, and I'm going to read that to you now uh, before we dive into this. This is... Uh, Christ is writing about about Timu 1.3, promising a preview coming up. He's got a YouTube video that no longer functions here. And um, somewhere down in this, this forum, somebody says, Great game. I just beat version 1.21 a little while ago. Um, what's awesome about that is it tells me version 1.21 is winnable. We can take that off the table. We not, we're not we're dealing with an unwinnable game here. He also incidentally says the level dungeon generation is excellent, and I really liked the gimmicks. Figuring out how to fight was frustrating, but it was a good system after seeing how throwing works. I felt like an idiot for how long it took me to figure out the last room. I wonder if it's like a puzzle. Uh, that's that's my, my addition to that bit of information. Wondering if it's a puzzle. All right. Um, note, it's easy to accidentally starve. It happened to me a few times. A starvation warning should have a more prompt, I think. Sometimes items spawn on top of doors. In the spider cave, I noticed doors sometimes spawn without adjacent walls. There you go. There you go. That's all we know about the entire game. There's spider caves. There's a final room. Fighting is a challenge. Who are you, at? Am I, am I just at? Is I, um, Timu. Am I not? Wasn't that already established? I get some water. So looking to our south, we see an S, which I assume is the pirate ship and not a spider. Uh, we get some stats over here on the right. Hit points 9. Let me get in the right window here. Am I in the right window? Yeah, the mouse just disappears. I guess there's no mouse here. I can't point things out to you guys. The mouse does not um, appear as I pass it over the window. Hit points 9 out of 9. Back. 0, 0.0. Back. Don't know. Food green. Uh, score 0. Let's go see the A. See if we can figure out what the hell the A is about. Let's try question mark. Yeah, okay. Usual up and down. Way to turn, open something, close something, loot a chest with L, okay. Inventory's I, comma to pick up. G to grab an item, W to wield, W to wear. A to apply, E to eat, Q to quaff, T to throw, K to kick, etc. Et cetera. All right, um, that's cool. Let's try I for inventory. We have a bottle of rum. We have a golden statue, as we were informed. Let's try... It didn't say anything about chatting or talking, right? No? Let's just try bumping into the A. Oh, we just stepped on the A. Is there a, uh, like a look or a, an examine? Look down and look away. Look away might have to do with maybe there's a Medusa or something in here. I don't know what the hell that is. Let's view a level description. You're on a beach on a small of, of a small island. You see a ship docked on the south side of the island. There is a dense forest here and a mountain range on the north side. That's cool. You don't often see uh, descriptors like that for an area. That's kind of neat in a roguelike. I don't think we can enter here. Let's try it. Oh, we entered. We entered the A. What do you think that Q and that M are? I want to say the M is a monkey, the C's are cats, and the Q is a is probably Queen Amidala, who apparently is hot. I punch the sand crab, the sand crab bites me. I punch it, it bites me. It pops out from hiding. We're about to be gangbanged by the crabs here. I right, killed one of them. We're okay now. Our health is almost gone, and the monkey is closing. The monkey bitch slaps you. I died from a monkey's bitch slap. Um, all right, well, there you go. There's my name, Timu, killed by a monkey. Score eight. Cool to have a scoreboard. I like it. Uh, let's hit escape. Let's play again, because we did not get very far. Who are you? Queen Amadala. All one word. Queen Amida. Queen Amida. All right, we got a random layout here. That's kind of neat. What is that on the ground in front of me? I can't quite tell. Am I on something? 
I don't mean like am I have I taken drugs. I mean like am I standing on a letter? Nothing to enter here in any event. Let's kill the monkey. Really attack the monkey? No, apparently not. All right. There's a percent sign up there. Maybe that's food or something. I don't know. Let's go find out. Mushroom here. You pick it up. Didn't have to press comma at all. I just picked it up. Banana. Got it. What is this? Qu oh, fuck off, monkey. I died from monkey bitch slaps again. I don't like that. Escape. Who are you? Anakin, but with two N's, as is properly spelled. Maybe not, actually. I'm not sure. Maybe it is with one N. My, I would instinctively say two N's, but I'm probably wrong, to be perfectly honest. Um, there's a letter A over there again. We didn't fare so well when we went. Let's, let's go directly into the dungeon, maybe. If that's what this is. Raccoon, or fucking raccoon! My friend has a, uh, a raccoon-based video game coming out that takes place in Toronto called uh, Trash Panda, I think. You enter a strange, dark forest full of delicious mushrooms and odd creatures that are glowing. Oh, I'm in a forest, okay. You hear static noise and a kiss. You hear static noise. Like, I think, I think like the noise of static as opposed to, like, a noise that is stationary. You hear static noise and occasional crackling sounds like a distant thunder. You feel that you are not welcome. You punch the hat of fattener. Hat of fattener. The hat of fattener shocks you. You kill. There's a bunch of them. You died. Well, at least I wasn't bitch slapped. We're not doing so hot here, guys. Uh, must play again. <laughs> I'm had a fattener. I'm had a fat. I don't know what the hell had a fattener is. Maybe it's a maybe it's a, a monster that belongs properly in some other lore. I don't know. Not knowing what we're trying to do makes this a little frustrating. Um, although knowing that there's a um, a victory condition is at least welcome news. Let's go in the A again. Alright, well, we're no longer surrounded by animals as we approach this ship? This beach ship, maybe? There's, uh, here they come. Here they come the fucking crabs. I'm gonna die. No, I didn't quite die. Let's try eating something. Can we do that? Let's use A. Uh, how do I use it? Quaff. Let's quaff A. You drink the bottle of rum. Nothing happened, though. Mildly drunk. Let's quaff a coconut. You can't quaff that. It's got coconut milk inside, sir. I can quaff it if I want to. How do I... Oh, we got an empty bottle. That's interesting. We drank the rum. We have an empty bottle left over. How do I do this? Uh, for the love of Christ. Um, Is there an eat? Eat with E. Let's eat a coconut. The coconut is too hard to eat. Banana though was delicious. Didn't give us any hit points back. It's just food. Um, I'm thinking food. I, I think the green bar filled up more when I ate the banana. I.e., I think food means like how close you are to starving is my guess. If the oh oh, I'm trying to just bump into this. The lighthouse door is locked. Okay, it's a lighthouse. Answers that. Unfortunately, if it's locked, not much we can do. Go to heck, crab. Our health is coming back as we pass time, so let's um, let's try to avoid this crab entirely. I see no logical uh, gain to killing it. Okay, we left via the road. I suppose that letter P is. What do you say we don't find out? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to die to a raccoon. I died to a raccoon. Past tense. Died to a raccoon. <laughs> Alright, escape. 
let's press P for play. Who are you? Um, if I knew the kid's name who played Anakin in the oh, in the early versions, it later became oh, I can't even, I can't remember the older version of Anakin's the actor's name. I can't remember either of their names. I would be them, but I, I can't remember. So let's be Ray. Because he didn't like the prequels, he made it didn't like the sequels. It's Ray. All right, there's a nice open area. Uh, there's the lighthouse over there. There's no point in going there that I can see. What's this A? Maybe this A is a different. Oh, let's get the foods first. Banana, yeah. And a coconut. If I had a lime, I'd put it in it. Okay, here we are at the hut. Apparently, got a mushroom. Some more food over here. Oh, lots of food. There's lots of food near the hut. Can we pass through? Yeah, you can pass through the capital T's. They just block line of sight. Oh, my. I am yonifying. Um, we got inside here. Is there money here we can just take? There's a seashell here. You pick it up. Can I... Is this a person? With great effort, you start to push the chest. There, I pushed it out. What's what's this? Can we loot this chest? L. Direction west. You open the chest. With trembling hands, you open the chest. You hear a tune coming from somewhere, and the chest seems to glow. Then, there is a bone in it. A bone? <laughs> that was my dramatic reading. You took some loot, a.k.a. a bone. The chest is now empty. Um, we could go outside and look for food, but um, can we wield the bone? One thing we've lacked to date is a weapon. You choose the bone as your weapon, or does the bone choose me, sir? Um, is this something we can climb down? Let's try climbing down it. The hatch is closed. Oh, west. The hatch is locked, and you fail to open it, no matter how hard you try. You've been on this island for a long time, and only now you discover this hatch. I can't remember if Lost was out when this came out. Reminds me a little bit of Lost with the hatch in the ground. I had a friend in Lost. Um, what am I doing here? So what I'm what I'm finding intriguing about this this game, I, I'm not. I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not enjoying dying. Um, with insane abundance. I'm dying more than that chick's died in that TV show Russian Doll. Which is a great show, by the way. Um, but that said, um, what I am intrigued with is there does seem to be um, sort of a story-slash-puzzle aspect to it. It's like, it's clearly a roguelike. It is randomly making the maps. But, like, I think every map would have a lighthouse and every map would have a hut. And every time you go into a hut, you'd find a, a chest that can be moved off of a hatch and the hatch needs to, you need to have a key to open it. I think, I think there's like some pre-designed stuff that is then randomly placed, which is interesting. Um, you don't often see roguelikes that do that, so I'm, I'm intrigued with it. But I'm not liking the monkey. Oh, I killed it pretty easy there, didn't I? Let's get a skull. Stay away from the elemental. I don't know if that's what that is. Stay away from whatever that was. Patch of grass, got it. Love me some patches of grass. Monkey dodges your attack. That nimble little bastard. Banana. Let's get some grass. Randomly. I have no idea if we want it or need it or what, but... Well, I know I want it. I have no reason to want it. Oh, I just want it because it's there. I want the grass for the same reason people climb Everest, because it's there. And yes, I consider my accomplishment in getting that grass equal to theirs in climbing Everest. Really attack the squirrel? Yeah. The squirrel dodges your attack. The squirrel becomes angry. It bites you. Fucking squirrel killed me? Really? 
killed by squirrel. Um, how long have we been recording? <laughs> Twenty minutes. Let's let's just try again at least once. Um, I'm just I'm just tired. I probably shouldn't have started this hour, this late hour to play. Um, if 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 we die again in the next ten minutes, I'll probably call it quits for the night. But I don't know if we've seen enough of Timu to you know really form an opinion. So I may come back to it at a later date. Um, but perhaps when I've you know got a, at least a modicum of knowledge to back up my random exploration. Um, I have no reason for this name, Ichabod. I guess Tony and I watched uh, the old cartoon version of Legend of Sleepy Hollow somewhat before Halloween there. There's a coconut here, you pick it up. The monkeys are fucking aggressive. Bad monkey. There's another one coming. Let's get this. Let's, um... Let's try to avoid the monkey while we heal. Fuck, he's on me. Alright, it left me. Got me some grass, baby. My favorite. Here's the hut. I, I assume we want to go to the hut to get the bone. Some food over there we could probably use. And some grass. Holy fuck, knockers, I'm tired. Yeah, see? Um, there'll always be a chest, it looks like, over a... over a hatch. But if we try and open the hatch, it's gonna say you need a key. Only now you discover this hatch. A bone? A bone, you say? Let's wield a bone. You choose the bone as your weapon. And you're damn happy with the choice. There's a possibility the E has the thing we need. Only because we've seen it now. Um, I don't want to attack a raccoon if I don't... Oh, it bit me. Fucking a raccoon bit me and I died. Let's, let's see how many. That's that's six, guys. That's six. Six deaths to relatively benign creatures that would likely be unable to kill you in an actual man-to-man -man fight, given that they're not a man. Electric shock. I can see that, man. That's just... You know, touch the wrong thing when your hands are wet and you can get die from that, but raccoon, which is the most vicious out of well, maybe that monkey might kill a, a sufficiently sized chimpanzee could kill you, they're very, very strong a raccoon could certainly do some damage, but given they come up to, you know, a little above your ankle they're not really a threat, and I've never heard of a squirrel being dangerous unless it's rabid um but I think I'm going to call it there tonight, guys. Um, I don't think we're done with Timu. Again, the guys, the, the gentleman on the, well, whoever that was, I saw on some website, said he beat this version of the game, i.e. it is winnable. And I am, I'm just a little curious, I'm a little intrigued about the, the puzzle aspect. The, you know, go find this to do this kind of thing. It feels a bit like Mist or a bit like, um, I don't know, Zork. Um, but not a... Well, I guess it is a text game, definitively, given it's ASCII, but it's not a text game in that sense. Um, but outside of that, I just, I'm not finding constant death fun. Um, I, I, I just don't like that aspect of it. Um, so I'm done tonight. I'll come back to it at a later date, possibly tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, but if I do, I'll probably play at least a little bit. I'll tell you what, I won't record any more until I've at least figured out how to get that hatch open. So you don't have to watch me fumble about and try to find a key. It's probably hidden somewhere specific, and it'll be the same place every time. Because um, that's how puzzle games work. 
All right, now I'm rambling in my tiredness. So I bid you a good night.